Hello and welcome to another tutorial from tutorialhouse.co.nz Right, today we are going to continue our breakout uh, clone gaming series. Uh, we've done one episode so far and a little fix up episode. So we're going to continue on and create the ball today which gets shot around the gaming area. Taking out blocks and things like that. So uh, we'll just get stuck into it. In our resources um, folder we have a paddle already, so we're going to add a ball as well. Uh, so we'll just right click on our breakout project, properties, and we'll add a resource which is going to be our ball. So this is going to be in the source code if you want to download it or you can create your own ball. Uh, it's nothing special, just 10 by 10 circle. And we also want to come to our toolbar and add a timer so oops, we'll chuck that in there and uh, that should be about it for that right so today we're just going to create the class for the ball it's not going to do a whole lot we'll just get it to move around the screen I think um, so if we just call that ball.cs create a new class add that and we're gonna be a bit cheeky here and just copy the pedal class across because it's basically the same, um, just a different different name. Um, so we'll just change all these to ball, which is a bit quicker than writing um, everything out again. So the only things we're really going to have to change in this in this class is where the ball starts, how big it is. Um, we'll take out the move paddle method. And we'll change draw paddle to draw ball. And then change the last two. And I think that's basically it. So what we're going to do now is come down to our ball image and we're going to change that from the paddle to the ball and we'll change the in the ball constructor we're going to change uh, the X to 150 which is pretty much the middle and we'll change the Y to uh, 20 20 pixels from the top and the width and the height can be 10 and 10 because it's the size of the image and it's going to be the size of our rectangle as well. Cool, so I think we're pretty much all done for the ball class. Um, we'll go back to Form 1 and we'll just add this class into our Form form 1. So we'll just put ball, uppercase B, ball is equal to new ball, keep it simple. And we'll just, uh, in the paint method, we'll put in ball dot draw ball paper. Really simple, real easy. And we'll just run that, and hopefully we should have a ball. There it is. Pretty much in the center, 20 pixels from the top. Not doing a whole lot, so I think we'll just, we'll add in uh, a couple more variables. So we'll put, um, and we'll put, Private print speed. That's what we really need. And we'll go down to the constructor and add in speed variable of uh, five. Five will be fine for now. And add the method public void move ball. And we won't need any arguments for it. And we'll just put ball rec dot x plus and equal to speed and ball rec dot y is plus and equal to speed. So this should just uh, take off on a diagonal across the screen, not do anything, not hit the size, just keep moving. Um, obviously like I said in later tutorials um, we'll get it to bounce off the sides, hit the paddle, hit the blocks, you know get a lot more interactive. Uh, so all we have to call now is ball dot 
move ball, doesn't take any arguments, like I said. And then we'll just tell the paint method that every time um, the timer goes, we'll just uh, redraw the screen with the stop and dollar date. And finally, I think we better turn on the timer. So in the form, we'll just click enabled equal to true. And I think that's basically it. And there it goes. Balls traveling off into nowhere. Cool, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, kept it nice and short. Um, we've got the ball moving across the screen, not doing a whole lot, but in the next tutorial we'll sort that out with uh, a bit of collision detection. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, have a great one.